Hi, welcome to the next video of chapter 1. Today we are going to see pure and impure functions. Pure function. The definition of pure function is a function which gives exact result when the same arguments are passed. The meaning of the definition is this function produces the same value as output for the same input. From the definition, the term exact result means the same value is produced as output each time. And same argument means when same input is passed to the function. So whenever we pass same argument that is value to a function, the pure function will always return the same output. To understand this, let's see an example. Consider the mathematical function sin 0. For sin function, whenever 0 is passed as argument, we always get 0 as the result because we have studied and know that sin 0 is equal to 0. Next, consider the following function. Let square x return x into x. If we pass 3 as argument for x, then this function always produces 9 as result each time. Let's see the advantage of pure function. If the function is called several times with the same argument, then the compiler only needs to call the function only once. Let's see with an example. The given function definition is let i is equal to 0. If i less than str ln of s, then do something which doesn't affect plus plus i. Here the above function definition is put inside a loop. It keeps on checking the str ln of s. Let's give value for s as high. Here str ln is a string function. That is it finds the length of the string in s. So each time the str ln of s is checked. For us, str of s gives 3 as result as our string is high, which is a 3 character. So, str ln, that is the string length, returns 3 from the function. We have seen advantage for pure function that the compiler calls the pure function only once. So, to understand, we have taken the same function definition. We saw that this function definition undergoes a loop and each time str len that is string length is checked. If it satisfies then the statement inside the loop executes and then i value is incremented. As str len is a pure function so string length will hold 3 and the compiler does not call the function at each iteration. Instead, it holds the value 3 for str len. Let's conclude. Pure functions output will never change if the same argument is passed. If the same argument is passed, the output will never change. Next is, evaluation of pure function does not cause any side effect to its output. As no changes are made in the function, so no side effect will, be, will occur. So, no change, no side effects. So, these are the three points, the main concept of pure functions. So, pure functions means no change. That is, output will always remain the same when the same argument passed to a function. So, such functions are called pure functions. Next, we are going to see about impure functions. The function that gives different result each time, even when the same argument is passed, is called impure function. Let's see an example for impure functions. The examples are random and data, etc. produce different output if these functions are called each time. Let's see a book example for random. The function definition goes so. Here the function name is random number. Just remove the space between random and number. It's a book error. Next, the random function is called. 
it generates a number of its own that is any number randomly we can't guess what number it gives can be 1000 1020 for whatever number it is the number is stored in a and next goes to the if condition inside if the condition is checked whether a is greater than 10 if so then a value is returned that is value generated by random function is returned or else the value 10 is returned let's see side effects in impure function side effect is nothing but if the output gets changed for the same argument passed each time then such changes made is known as side effect in impure functions consider the previous example square that we saw already here as no external parameter is there to alter the value of x the output will always be the same for same argument if two is passed as argument for x then 4 will be the output each time so such functions are called pure functions to make the function as impure function just add a parameter y to it the function definition is this to this function definition we are adding a y parameter now based on the value of y the return value will change as x into x plus y y value is added so it will get changed now just see the values x is equal to 2 is passed and y is equal to 3 is passed now the return value is 7 which is changed from 4 to 7 just because of the parameter y now let's see the difference between pure and impure function given in our book the pure function The return value of pure function solely depends on its argument passed. Just note the word solely. It means fully or purely. As it depends purely on argument passed, hence you call the pure function with the same set of argument you will always get the same return value. They do not have any side effect as no changes are made no side effects here in impure function the return value of impure function does not solely depend on its argument passed it doesn't depend on the argument so hence if you call the impure function with the same set of argument you might get the different return value so as it is not dependent we get a different value for example random and date they do not modify the argument which are passed to them in pure function they do not modify in impure function they may modify the argument which are passed to them so pure function no change no modification for impure function get changed and modified these are the difference for pure and impure function this is an important primark book back question so mark it and study it